Hello, this is uh, David Mettler. Um, just wanted to walk through the process I used to get the uh, Revit database information onto uh, this MySQL database um, that allows you to search the information um, using PHP. Um, so this is the uh, the tool that I, um, I showed uh, before. I had some people asking me some questions about it, so I would kind of thought I'd uh, take this opportunity to kind of walk through the tool uh, that I created. So the first part of the tool is uh, obviously the idea came from um, all this data that's uh, generated in Revit um, uses a database, um, all these schedules and um, project uh, information. So I pretty much um, found this tool. Now this there's two tools here. There's two ways to get the data out. You can use the uh, the Revit database link, which is available um, on the Autodesk subscription site, or um, I prefer to use um, Mario Gottman created this uh, tool. It's called Whitefeet, and um, in here there's a, uh, a Revit database link, and I prefer Mario's uh, version because it offers um, a lot more flexibility in controlling how the fields, uh, what fields come across, and uh, you can kind of pick and choose the information that comes across. So uh, out of the two tools, I prefer Mario's tool. And then also, uh, Mario's got this wonderful views tool that allows you to uh, create the views, um, which I used in my little uh, tool. I'll go back, back to the tool here. Uh, these views were created um, using Mario's tool, uh, the view uh, creation tool. So um, um, once you... Uh, use Mario's tool, it uh, allows you to take the information into an access database. This is the uh, the actual database that I used to create that uh, those pages. So the, all the information's um, uh, here in the database. And then, so the reason why I had to go through access is um, Mario's tool doesn't go directly to MySQL. And going to access actually created a few other problems. Um, so once I got into Access, so I went directly from uh, Revit into Access. Once I was in Access, they, it became difficult to get the information up onto the MySQL. And um, on the web, I found this little tool. Um, it's actually, uh, if I go to Configure, you'll see it. It's um, MySQL. There's a driver up there. It's the uh, ODBC uh, driver, which allows you to connect. Um, this is my database. Uh, you know, obviously the user login and information. But the interesting part about this is it it wants to it wants to go to that remote MySQL database as a local host. So um, what I uh, ended up doing is I found this other tool, which allows me to take my remote database. So I, uh, I connect up to my server. And then I, t I just uh, do, it's called, uh, this is a SSH, SSH tunneling tool. Um, it allows you to do uh, what's called port forwarding. So I'm telling it to take this incoming port, uh, the 3306, and rename it essentially localhost, uh, keeping the same port destination of 336, 3306. So that's how um, I was able to make my remote database look like a local database. And then once I had it as a local database, I can simply go in here. Uh, once I've set up the ODBC translator, I can simply go into the Excel um, access program and just say to use the ODBC database. And when I say OK, it brings up that same, that same connection um, that I had set up on that other screen. Um, so I can just say go ahead and it will actually uh, write that out to the database. Okay, um, the next part of this, um, the challenge of creating this this little uh, MySQL Revit database tool is to actually, once I got it up to MySQL, was to actually create the PHP that allows you to do the search. Um, like uh, this, uh, this really nice interface uh, allows you to just, you know, you can just type in a room number and it will uh, automatically load those pages. Um, so um, part of this, the the creation of this tools, and then all these uh, the additional links that uh, 
take place within the tool, you know, where we're actually doing the data mining into the actual um, devices. So, and to do that, I used uh, this little tool, it's called PHP Runner. Um, and here's kind of uh, what the, uh, these are the same fields that, um, if you notice here, those are the same fields that are actually on my, my tool here. Um, so uh, this is kind of, um, the way this is set up is you kind of, you do all these hierarchy connections, which you can see here. Um, I'm not going to get into detail about how it works, but um, essentially you have to kind of figure out how your database is going to run, and you set up all these different hierarchies. And using this tool, uh, you can set up different aspects of it, and um, once you hit the build button, it actually builds the code that creates, that drives this uh, PHP interface. And um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully um, I've answered the questions uh, about how to create this. I know it was uh, kind of a brief video. I didn't get into too much detail. Um, obviously, if you have uh, questions, feel free to contact me. Again, uh, David Mettler with um, Hayden Building Corp. Thanks.